How frustrating is it to work with a prospect only to find out that they don't have a budget, right? And you spent all this time building this amazing proposal, working with them, giving them amazing strategies, only to find out that they have no budget or they didn't have a budget close enough to even um, be in a place where you could actually entertain it. It's pretty frustrating, right? You know, I know specifically from firsthand experience, I ran an agency for 12 years until I built it up to a multi-million dollar agency and sold it. So I wanna kind of give you some, a strategy in order to fix this and really get the budget almost every time. I mean, literally 99% of the time, and I'll tell you the 1% that we didn't and what you could do, but 99% of the time, we would get the prospect's budget. So here it is. So when you ask the prospect, hey, what's your budget so I know if we can help you out? They're gonna say, I don't have one. And then most of you kind of just go on, right? And you spend all this time. Eh, wrong, do not do that. So we would basically, when someone would say, I don't have a budget, I would do it in two ways. And now the first way I'm gonna tell you, it's a little playful, it has to fit your personality, you have to feel comfortable about it. But I'll give you kind of the more generic one that will still work, that might fit your personality, okay? So if you're not kind of goofy like me, it will work. So when someone say, I don't have a budget, I'll be like, cool, I love working with people that don't have a budget. So we can spend all kinds of money testing and really get down to really innovative solutions. And then I briefly pause, kind of like what I did there. And you're probably looking at me, the same way the prospect be like, this dude is crazy. Like, ah, so you do have a budget. And they'd be like, well, maybe. Be like, well, if you don't wanna spend millions of dollars, I just need to know some kind of range in order to figure out if you're the right for us and we're right for you. And then I would be the reverse auctioneer and I would start really high. I'd say, okay, so are we trying to stay around 500, 400, 300,000, 200, 180, 70, you know, and just keep going down and then they'll give you a range from that. If you do that, it's almost guaranteed. Unless you're not talking to the decision maker, which is a big no-no, or they just don't know what they want, so it's kind of hard to put a budget on something they don't want. And if they don't know what they want, and they're a, a big company that you wanna work with, sell them a paid discovery. Charge them money for that, okay? But these are this is how I get the budget 99% of the time. So if you like this, and you wanna know how I converted 80% of our marketing proposals for our agency from clients like LegalZoom, AT&T, Hitachi, just to name a few, click on the link below and I'll send you a video. In this video, I'll walk you exactly through the proposal um, stages and process that we used that enabled us to do this. And it will show you how we created a proposal in less than 15 minutes. I know you're probably like, what? So click on the link now and I'll send it to you.